Hello, this is Simon for the Yarmouth and Thorley Voices Project and we're just going to go over the process of loading audio recordings from the card onto the computer so you can then edit them later. So first of all you'll have been through the process of having the interview, doing the recordings onto the digital recorder and uh, once you've removed the card from the audio recorder place it into the SD reader on your computer it should pop up on the screen this the card that this one is called Jill audio and on there is an option to open the files to have a look at them so we'll have a look at that first of all and with the zoom recorder the way it works is it always stores stuff if you record it just in the normal stereo which is the advisable way of doing it stores it in a stereo directory so we have a look in there there's this massive array of um, directory names which generally aren't needed it's just the first one the folders 01 and what we see in there there's two file names so there'll be two recordings at different dates and if we look at the the way the file is formatted the the date of it so the file name is done in a date order and it's done in the Japanese date order which is year for the first two digits second two digits being the month the final two digits being the date of the recording and the other parts on there we've got the actual time is recorded so 10 o'clock in the morning 24 minutes past and 17 seconds we've got a second one here recorded on the second day 28th and it was done at 10 20 in the morning and the odd 10 seconds stuck on the end so what we need to do is transfer it from the card onto the hard drive so we're going to take this file here and we know that that is a recording with uh, Eileen and Pete. So what we're going to do is we will rename the file and you can do that by right clicking, bringing up the menu and taking it down to the rename option at the bottom here. And that gives you the ability to type into the file name. Make sure you click at the end because all that part highlighted there means if you start typing it'll delete the file name. So click in the end, put space and a dash and Eileen, Eileen, <laughs> that's better, Eileen and Peter. Okay, so we're going to move this file onto the hard drive. And in that case, the hard drive on this one is stored on the NAS. For some reason, this has become disconnected from the NAS. Let's have a look. Okay, fix that little problem. And we're back here looking at the Yarmouth and Thorley voices directory. Within there, there's an audio directory, which is where we're going to store the, all of the interviews. Interviews, another folder name within there. The, th the phrases uh, folders or directories are interchangeable. And we see the name of the people that we've done stuff with already. So if we create a new folder, new folder, and enter Eileen, and this is Eileen Jenkins. Within the Eileen Jenkins directory, we've got two directories we're going to create. We've got the originals, and we're going to have the edited version as well. So what we do is we take the original recordings and put those, unsurprisingly, in the originals directory. So here we go. This is the window which shows the data card that's come out from the audio recorder in the stereo directory the folders directory and we're going to drag that into the Eileen directory here we go it copies the file over it's about 20 meg so a tittle take a little while as it copies over once we've got the original file stored on the NAS only when it's stored on on the NAS we can delete it from the data card 
we don't want to ever lose one of the original recordings because obviously they're very valuable and close to impossible to duplicate. Uh, you know, getting the person along to talk to her again would be close to impossible. So what we're going to do is have a little listen to this file here. If we right click, open it with, let's use the media player. It'll then You've got this timeline along the bottom here. Yes. You know, the, obviously the pause button if you want to stop the playback. Or you can jump to different parts. So you've got an idea of what the recording's actually about. Yeah, that, that's the one that we think it's going to be. So we can close that. And there we go. We've moved the directory, moved the, the data file from the audio card onto the hard drive into the originals directory and by having the date leaving the date and time at the beginning of the file name we know when the interview actually occurred hope that was all made sense for you and uh, feel free to play it back and ask questions if you've got any questions later thanks